Hello beautiful peeps, this is Chris from Techspert and welcome, welcome to my new weekly tech news show which is imaginatively titled Techspert Weekly. I'll be directing that spurt at your eyes and ears every Friday around lunchtime UK time. But this isn't just going to be some half assed recap of the week's tech news shenanigans. It's going to be partly that, but I'm also going to be giving you fresh reviews of any tech that I haven't had a chance to cover in the rest of the week. And I'm also planning to answer your comments from the previous week's show personally right here on the show, so God help me. And finally, we're gonna get old Mystic Meg and peer ahead at the week that is to come and see what big tech launches will be happening and what other reviews and other delights we will have in store. But anyway, that is enough exposition. Cue the jingle. Techspert Weekly. And let me just explain, that's just a temporary jingle because I'm kind of working by the skin of my pants at the moment with Samsung coming up next week, MWC on the horizon and all of that. Don't worry, I'll get a proper one sorted soon. So of course, most of the news this week has been surrounding MWC 2020, the massive mobile expo that sees smartphone manufacturers from across the globe all descending on Barcelona to launch their fresh new kit for 2020. But of course, all the excitement and everything surrounding this year's MWC has been kind of blighted by the coronavirus, which is, as you might imagine, causing quite considerable consternation. The likes of LG and ZTE have at least partly pulled out of the show. LG apparently won't be there in presence at all. ZTE won't have a big launch, although they apparently will have a stand, presumably just uh, staffed by European members. So there are, of course, natural fears that other companies may well pull out ahead of time. And personally, I'm really looking forward to being crammed into these poorly ventilated halls with thousands of other tech geeks from around the globe all coughing and breathing on one another. And let's face it, us tech spots don't have the best immune systems. If there is any kind of flu, cold, virus or whatever in one of these places, it's going to be passed around faster than a copy of Razzle in a schoolboy's changing room. Touch what it does at least seem like the MWC organisers, the GSMA body, seem to be on top of things. They're busy hiring extra medical staff, uh, bumping up sanitisation procedures. They've even suggested that perhaps anyone attending MWC don't shake hands just to help prevent the spread of the virus. Not really sure how much difference that will make, but if they want to make the official handshake a new ass bump or a cheeky grope, then I'm well up for that. But anywho, I will be at MWC 2020 virus or no virus so uh, pray for me and uh, stay tuned for all of the big tech launches over there from the likes of Sony, Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, Realme, all of the big boys will be there in some respect, hopefully fingers crossed. There's also big news in the cloud gaming sector this week as well as GeForce Now from Nvidia is officially out of beta and ready for everyone to jump on board. All you need to do to get started is download the free GeForce Now app for your Android smartphone or your clunky old Windows laptop your Mac or your NVIDIA Shield TV and then you can jump onto one of NVIDIA's high powered servers and play the latest games with blistering frame rates even on those top detail settings. By signing in with your Steam account you'll have access to all of your existing catalogue of games and if you just sum up a measly five or a month that will give you unlimited playtime and access to further benefits like a nice bit of RTX support tasty. Being able to play the likes of Doom on your Android smartphone or your dusty old laptop that's bunged away in a cupboard somewhere it's absolutely wonderful so if you can't afford a shiny sexy new gaming rig I definitely recommend giving it a go. Now looking ahead to next week well basically the big event is of course Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked launch it kicks off Tuesday February the 11th at 7 p.m GMT time I will be there live covering all of the big tech news. Of course basically we know what to expect it's going to be the new Galaxy S20 series of flagship phones so really nice premium shiny tech for those who are well minted. Of course if you've looked at the online rumours and leaks and everything as well, you pretty much know what to expect. There'll be a few different flavours of Galaxy S20, including the standard model for those who've got pretty fat stacks. And if you've got more coin than Scrooge McDuck, you can bump your way up to the S20 Ultra or even the S20 Ultra 5G. The Ultra model will, of course, boast better specs. You can expect more RAM, more storage, things like that. Hopefully, even the standard Galaxy S20, though, will come back in a 90Hz Quad HD display. And there's rumours as well that all of them will come back in a 108 megapixel pixel primary camera for, sna for snaps in, snap in some incredibly detailed shots and it looks like the camera chassis is very similar to the one found here on the Galaxy A51, a big bulky rectangular effort stuck away in the corner. Speaking of which, my full camera review for this bad boy is coming tomorrow and the in-depth review will be coming on Monday so that'll just help whet your appetite for that S20 action. And Samsung is also set to reveal its funky new Z Flip smartphone as well which looks quite similar to the Motorola Razr phone in design. It's another clamshell style flip phone with a single foldable screen on the inside. It is home that Samsung has managed to cram in a more powerful chipset and a bigger battery compared with the Motorola Razr. Again, stay tuned for my full in-depth coverage coming live next Tuesday. And that is my spurt of the week, so thank you very much for joining me and kudos for sticking around to the end as well, you 
crazy sods. Uh, so definitely please leave your comments down below and I will try and respond to as many of those as possible in episode two next Friday. My response may just be clutching my head in my hands and rocking back and forth while muttering to myself, but I'll respond in some fashion. Until then, have yourselves a lovely weekend, people, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Maybe, guess so, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Cheers, love you.